saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be tackling one of the DIY projects that I covered in my bathroom makeover video. I wanted to break out these videos from the main video. That way, if you're looking for a particular project or if you're searching down the line looking for how to paint for mica countertops, you'll be able to come right to this video as opposed to having to go through an entire bathroom makeover video. So that's kind of the reason why I'm posting these bonus videos. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this DIY. So before I started prepping the surface, I wanted to give it a good wipe down and make sure that there was nothing stuck to the surface that will gum up the sandpaper. After the counter is nice and clean, I started with the rougher grit sandpaper to scuff up the surface and remove the shine. I also made sure to get the back pieces and the side walls too. After the rough grit, I went in with more of a medium grit and continued sanding to ensure all smooth surfaces were no longer shiny. Properly sanding is going to help the paint adhere to the surface without chipping. When I got done with all the sanding, I took a wet microfiber cloth and I wiped down the countertops completely everywhere that was sanded to remove all of the dust. I really want to stress this next step. It's important to tape off the section that you're wanting to paint so that everything else doesn't get covered in overspray. So what I did here was I covered the sink faucets with grocery bags and then I used some paper to cover up the rest of the sink and I also used paper to cover the walls and obviously painters tape to hold it all in.
my tattoos just a remedy 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 and the way you go baby don't you know there's a remedy After I taped off the sinks, I went ahead and taped off the walls and the cabinets down below so that I could spray without worrying about getting paint on everything else. And once I started spraying, you'll see here in a minute, I actually added a second layer of paper because the overspray was just so much. This is the paint that I'm going to be using and it looks deceiving because it's an appliance paint, but I am here to tell you that we are almost a month out from painting and it has held up phenomenally. <laughs> Myself to hold my hand, standing in the shadows of where we have been, sleeping with your back facing me. Now that we're properly covered, properly ventilated, and properly masked, <laughs> after everything was all taped off, I got started painting the countertop. I wanted to make sure that there were no streaks and that the application was even, so I went in with about four to five really thin coats, allowing the coats to dry for about a half an hour in between. After the final coat, I did remove the tape while the paint was still wet. Places all at once. Wish that what we said would come undone. Feels like our minds have been turned off. Haven't seen each other for so long. I know, I know, I know this is in us. Maybe pull me closer, let's go. So this is what is going to take your refinished Formica countertops to the next level. If yours is in one piece and you don't have seams, then you really don't have to do this. But because ours has a countertop and then the side pieces like a backsplash, this really elevated the look of it and it made it look like one piece. And I cannot believe how well this turned out. And it's all waterproof now, so we don't have to worry about warping or bowing. Also, let me mention that this is the messiest stuff that I've ever worked with and it was so sticky and literally got everywhere. It could just be me because I'm naive with application apparently, but messy, so messy.
y'all for watching today and supporting my channel. I'm really enjoying my new bathroom and it makes me so happy every time I walk in there. I'll link the other videos in the series down below if you'd like to check them out on the specific projects or if you'd like to see the bathroom as a whole. Thanks again for joining me here today and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.